Hey, what is that? Some sort of case or something. I found it under there. Looks like there's files and pictures. And tapes, too. No one uses these anymore. It says right here that this is a murder. From 1983. Well, I bet the officer that lived here before me left this. Wait, it looks like it wasn't solved, though. Does that mean the killer's still out there? I mean, maybe. The case is really old, though. Well, we should give it a try. I don't know. I'm sure we won't be able to figure out who did this. I'm not letting this go unsolved. Okay, let's do it. We should probably get out the tapes and see if we could hear the park ranger's interview. Did you notice anything unusual at the scene? Nothing I could think of. I did notice that the victim was wearing a high school shirt. Really? What high school? East High School. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Can you pull out the other victim files? I think I read somewhere that they were all the same age. We should probably see what high school they went to. It says here that this one went to East High School. Did the other one go there too? Yeah, it says right here, East High. There has to be a connection between the victims. We should look into their relationships at the high school. Hey Jessica, what is it? All three of the murder victims were on the track team. There's no way that's a coincidence. Let's look through the tapes and see if anyone else was on the track team. Yeah, that's a good idea. Here, this one. Daniel Young? Yeah, let's listen to it. State your name and age. Daniel Young, 16 years old. Okay, how do you know the victims? They were on the track team. Do you know if they had any enemies or people who would want to hurt them? Mm, there were a lot of students that envied them, but nothing out of the blue. Where were you on March 4th? You really think I did it? Come on, we were teammates. I can't rule you out. So where were you? It was a Friday night, so I was with my girlfriend at a party. And what's her name? It's Ashley Hall. Okay, thank you for your cooperation. I'll be in touch. Oh my god! I can't believe your mom's involved in the murders. There's no way. She didn't even go to this high school. Maybe she didn't go to the high school but still dated the guy. Well, it's possible. My mom never really told me much about her relationships before my dad. Does she have a photo album or something? Yeah, she does. A photo album and a diary. Okay, go get it. Here's the diary. Look, here's my mom in high school. That must be Daniel with her. I'm looking through a diary to try and find her entry on the date of the murders. This one's from March 5th. It shows her moving to my grandfather's house. And this entry says right here that they broke up a week before the murders happened. There's no way they were with each other the night of the murder. Hmm. And look, it says right here that they stopped investigating the case a year after because they couldn't find a suspect with a solid motive. If you look right here in the yearbook, it says that the track team won state. The top four runners were competing for a scholarship? That's clearly the motive. You're right. We need to talk to this Daniel guy. Are you crazy? No, we need to at least find out if he still lives here. Fine, I guess. I can't believe he still lives here. That's so dumb. I mean, I read that he was a track star for a bit, but he only moved back because he injured his knee. Ouch. Okay, let's do this. Hello, can I help you? Are you Daniel Young? Yes. Why? Well, we'd like to ask you some questions. About? The spring of 1983. About those murders? 
I was interviewed by the police a long time ago. Unless you're the police and reopening the case, I'm not going to answer any more questions. Can you please just answer one? Yeah, the question of why you did it. Please, my name is Jessica Hall. You dated my mom in high school. So you know about the false alibi? Yes. We just want to know why you lied. We won't tell anyone. Look, I had to win that scholarship, even if my friends had to die. Your friends didn't deserve to die. Oh, and by the way, we called the cops ten minutes ago. Yeah, right. They're gonna believe you. You guys are just kids. They might not believe us, but they will believe you. 